Yes, let's have the testimonies. Praise the Lord, brother. Praise the Lord, brother. Praise the Lord, brother. Praise the Lord, brother. Yes. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. We praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hello, we praise the Lord. Should I start my testimony, brother? Yes, go ahead. I want to thank God for my sister-in-law who had delivered a baby boy child with normal delivery and a healthy child without any problem. And I thank God for blessing her with good and nearby hospital at Mira Road, which is seven minutes walkable from our home. Second thing, I would like to thank God the payment for the last month, which was kept pending. I have been received it two days before. Third thing, I would like to thank God since we all of us are in good health in spite of Mira Road being a COVID zone. Fourth thing, I would like to thank God even after committing many sins till today, God has blessed me and my family with all the needs for me and my family members as has been said in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. Fifth, I would like to thank God for providing me the thirst for the word of God every new day. And now, after coming to the word of God, my fear for my life has been disappeared and I can find through word that Jesus is present in front of me through word and he guides me by saying, have faith in me. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord, for his brother. May, he, may the glory of God reign in his life and use him, Lord. Use him for your ministry. Use him to bring the word to the ends of the earth, Lord. Let his life be a blessing and a miracle and a testimony to everyone. Let him testify the good news of God to the ends of the earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, who's next? Praise God, brother. I've got a testimony. Yes, Thank go you, ahead. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So go somebody ahead. sent me a message with an image of Jesus, but the accompanying words were misleading uh, and it read, to receive good luck, forward this. And uh, before I replied, I prayed, the spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon brother and the favor of God is upon me. And we overcome evil with good in Jesus name. And then I replied that it's not through our good works that God blesses us, but it's through having a relationship with Jesus and a belief in him, as he has already given us all our blessings through his divine exchange on the cross, and that it's misleading to forward the message. And I sent the divine exchange image, as well as John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The person replied after a while and apologized and said, thank you, Jesus. I see my mistake was misleading. So thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank, thank you. you so much, brother. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise God. Thank you for revealing Amen. that many people who send this chain messages say that if you don't send it, God will not forgive you. God will not bless you. We all get this kind of messages. It's clear that the Lord does not want us to have any conditions. He has paid the price in the cross. Christ paid in all. So remember not to just be a part of this kind of change, but trust the Lord with all our heart. The Lord will be thankful. We need our own understanding. Just for that wonderful message. Thank you. Praise God. Brother, your voice is not very clear. Can you hear me? Oh, no. It's There's not very clear. Disturbance. I'm trying to kill you in the church today. 
So we're trying something and pray that our technology works. Yeah, it's okay now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, who's next? I'd like to thank God for after I have surrendered my life to Him, I I find this inner peace and happiness, which is not affected by what is happening around me. There is so much of stress around, even in my life, whatever happens, I don't lose that peace. And that has happened to me after I have surrendered my life to God. And I remembered what is said in John 14, 27. Jesus said, I give you my peace, not what the world gives, but my peace. So I'm very happy that I have that inner peace with respect to what is happening around me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Uh, brother uh, Devik, uh, this is Jude with you from Mumbai. Yeah, yeah, Jude. Great. Uh, brother, if you remember, you had uh, given a, uh, given a uh, class on uh, on Holy Spirit. And myself, my wife, we were listening to it and uh, we said, okay, fine. We all believed and we said, okay, by faith, you have to go surrender everything. It so happened that, you know, I did my driving, I should drive in Dubai, then I should drive, suddenly I would drive in Dubai, then I came to Bombay, I had a different car with a, 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 from automatic to manual, but I was not confident. So every time I say, okay, fine, we have to surrender to Holy Spirit, we have to surrender to Holy Spirit, take your fear out of Holy Spirit, take control. It so happened that after you had given a talk on the Holy Spirit, and now when we were supposed to go for a drive out, and I was so nervous to take the car out. Suddenly my wife, wife said, reminded me, you know, was the point of just listening to Brother Vivek's class and his talks and, you know, his teaching. When we don't nag, we even keep our faith at the side and we bring our fears inside us. If you have confidence that what Brother said and the Holy Spirit is with you, be bold, be enough, be strong. I don't know what happened, Brother. I just took, it stuck me so much in the mind. I say, yes, that's true. If Brother Vivek's faith is strong, why can't my faith be strong? Absolutely. And my wife is telling me that, you no, know, the... Take the whole, if you have a problem, anything, just surrender to the Holy Spirit. Yes. You won't believe, brother. The moment what she gave me, it, I just had to go pause and I just stayed silent for some time. And I said, no, whatever has to happen, happen. Let me surrender to the Holy Spirit. Yes. From that day onwards till today, brother, it's almost two months to three months now. I think it's two months, over two months now. I take the car boldly outside and with great confidence I drive. Even if it's a difficult situation, heavy traffic, I just speak to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are now controlling the steering. You guide me and take me safely. Amen. Praise God from that day to today, brother. My confidence has gone so up, so much high with the driving. And I thank God for everything, especially my wife who has given me that reminded me the talk you gave me. Yes, yes. Thank you, brother, for all what you've given and strengthening us in faith. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, brother, for that. Thank you for sharing a testimony. Even a small testimony brings so much of joy because it increases our faith and it shares that even, even the little things of life, if you talk to the Holy Spirit, they can be a, such a mighty anointing. You know, so I thank and praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Yeah, who's me? Vivek, I have a scripture for tonight. Yep. It's, it's 2 Corinthians 4, 1, to, 1 and 2. Therefore... Having this ministry, by the mercy of God, we do not lose heart. We have renounced disgraceful, underhanded ways. We refuse to practice cunning or to tamper with God's word. But by the open statement of the truth, we would commend ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hello. Yeah, Newton. Yeah, Brother Vivek, I just want to share my testimony. Yeah. Um, uh, brother, I was, uh, I was an alcoholic. And for after many, the Lord had delivered me from the spirit of alcohol. And quite many years, I was been set free. Yes. I remember the first Holy Communion I had of my son. I didn't serve alcohol at all in the hall and everybody was surprised that and how did you do this? It was something very inspiring us. And it happened that some days before, 
one of my neighbor came to my place and gave a beer bottle to keep in a freezer and that beer bottle was quite for many days in a house somehow looking at that bottle i we told our neighbor please take it away and go from here and they said we'll come and take it come and take it but nothing happened and finally i was so tempted i went to the our shop i bought a limka bottle i put a beer half glass of beer and i put limka and i had it and brother and i lost my promise for the lord i forgot the lord has delivered me i was so tempted i had it i couldn't believe after having that after one hour my body was so disturbed i was so restless something was happening in me my head started paining my hands started paining my legs my teeth my gums of my teeth and i was totally restless and i don't know what was happening to me i did not sleep for the whole night and morning i got up and i said lord i'm sorry what i have done i have yes. like peter i also have um, peter rejected you i rejected you and your healing for me and today i have committed a sin by having the alcohol beer and it happened brother i have to go to i wanted an essence in mira road it's a big lockdown in mira road because of covid and all the only the grocery shops are open and other essential things are all shut down in mira total shut down i was in need of an electrical for, for my ac there was a problem and i had to buy something and a mattress for mummy and it happened that i have went out and i and i just said no lord i am going out and i'm and i guarantee in the name of jesus my jesus will open a shop for me to get a electrical thing and also the mattress and i started walking on the road and i said lord i don't think now there will be something happening because i already sinned by having a beer and i don't think my god is with me and i just murala heard a voice telling me you take a left you go to this area you go to that place and one shop will be open and from a very much surprise i went to a shop and there are so many shops so many shops there was one person who opened the shop and i go and tell him he tells you want come i'll give you any gave me and the second thing i wanted a mattress called up so many outlet shops they all said how many you want i said one they said we can't come for one and i said lord as you walk with the people of israel in the valley and you brought them out from pharaoh they complained against you they sinned against you but you are a god who reached out to them and you gave them manna from heaven and you made a way to the red sea lord and you are going to make a way for me by having a mattress then i gave a call one fellow said even though it's a lockdown i will come for you i'll open my shop and give the mattress he opened his shop and gave me the mattress and i praise and thank jesus he the lord told me however you have sinned but i am with you i love you and i thank jesus for this and also i thank the lord for the blood report of my mummy which i have done the check up yesterday was totally normal there was no diabetes and i thank jesus also that i had to go to ic colony with the blood report to the doctor the check there is a checknaka in mira road which you have to cross and there there were police i told my wife let's drive down and let us go and let us sanitize the hospital in the blood of jesus let us sanitize the nurses the doctors the people in the blood of jesus we took the car we went there was nobody checked us we just crossed the check post we went to the hospital the doctors the doctor was there we did the report doctor said the reports are normal and we came back safely home in the night and after coming home brother it was i was back in the anointing of the lord i joined my hands i honored my knee that of the lord if after having that beer if i would have not had that body pain and all sort of uneasiness i think i would have had again so that pain in my body was so terrible and so dangerous that i got so scared i said lord next time i'm not going to have it and the lord told me i allowed it to happen in you because i have chosen you and i do want you to go back into it satan lost the victory over me mm-hmm. and jesus won the victory i praise and thank god and i remember tabur ashram ministry telling alcohol is satan's urine 
And brother, I tell you, I had it, and the pain in my body had brought a change, and I have received the mighty presence of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful testimony. It also shows that, Lord, even in, in the smallest things of life, we can talk to you, Holy Spirit. And you are there with us with every, every tiny, tiny things of life. Let us start talking and ask the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you guide us. Remember, Holy Spirit is a counselor. He's a teacher. He's a guide. So if you have lost a direction in your life, the Holy Spirit will regain and tell you the direction. Let's learn to trust in the Lord with all our heart. Because when you have Jesus Christ through the word, Jesus is the word in John 1.1. 1, 1. And when you have Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit. And when you have Jesus, you have the Father. So without God's word in your heart, you don't have Jesus. So remember, we need God's word and then the Holy Spirit gets activated. And then the Holy Spirit, he said, I'll send you a comforter. Now remember, Holy Spirit is like a dove. So be wonderful, very gentle. He's a very gentle spirit, will not force you to do anything. But always be with him, talk to him, and remember never to grieve him. Because even the body that we have is not our own. It belongs to the Holy Spirit. It's bought with a price. So let's glorify God in our bodies. That's 1 Corinthians 6, uh, 19, 20. Yes, who's next? Thank you, Jesus. Hello, Vivek. Yes. Can I give my testimony? Yes, ma'am. I am Mrs. Jennifer Miranda and would want to testify what the Lord has done for me. I'm a visitor to Australia from Mumbai and came here on the 30th November 2019 and was to go back on the 3rd October 2020. But considering the lockdown in Mumbai, applied for an extension of the visa on the 26th October 2020, given that my visa was to expire in December 2020. The application for the police clearance with my passport was held up in Mumbai due to the COVID situation. The immigration department here kept on sending me reminders to get it done without further delay. But there was nothing I could do as no one answered the phone, no reply to the emails. But my deep faith in God and his promises got me going. I read the scriptures daily and claimed that the PCC and passport was cleared and delivered to me. Out of nowhere, I had people who gave me support and helped me. Today, at 3 p.m. this evening, I received the PCC and passport. I thank our merciful Lord and Savior who sent his divine assistance for me. We must just trust, believe, and call upon him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the wonderful grace that you showered upon my mom. And thank and praise you, Lord, that she's a strong warrior for you, bringing souls for Christ. That has continued the ministry. Jesus Christ at the end of the earth. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Who's next? It's called Brother Malinia. Yeah, Malin, go ahead. My son. Yeah, my, my son Brian had a severe stomach pain all of a sudden. And he was with so bad pain that he was unable to even bear and he was literally crying. And I was I was so shaken because I found myself so helpless. But then I gathered courage. The word of God gave me so much strength in my helplessness. And I just started praising and glorifying God, holding my son's hand. And I even told him that to, to confess 1 Peter 2.24, praise and thank God, although he was finding it difficult. But I told him to say, thank you, Jesus, for healing me. And he kept on saying, and even I praised and glorified God so loudly. And uh, even I told God, Jesus, whenever we call you, you answer us. You never failed me. And he, my son was, and in some time, he was delivered from the pain. And he was feeling much better. I just praised and glorified God all the time till he was re relieved from that tummy pain. So all praise and glory to God for helping me in my uh, difficult moment. There was no one to help me at that time. And Jesus came to my rescue. So all glory and praise to Lord Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. You. Praise you, Lord. Romans 10, 13 says, anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. 
and this is our testimony when we speak and call on the name of the lord jesus we are saved that's what he says also psalm 91 gives us the assure the assurance that god is with us even through our darkest times so let's call on the name and remember you don't need to call the preacher you need to have faith the same faith is with everyone thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you sister for that lovely testimony thank you thank you brother praise god god bless yep good evening brother puvek good evening you have to see hello yeah. uh, in 19 1981 i have done my retreat by father rufus and father james yes and i lost my son in an accident 18 year old son i have not done this testimony i want to just tell you all that i never knew the word of god and one of my colleagues they took me for a retreat there and i sat sit at the back and uh, what as is raising hands and all this i didn't understand all this and there were some young youths at the back just giggling away and i and we never had a prayer group that time but we were four of us always sitting and praying together so when he met with an accident he was there for seven days and many uh, uh, groups used to come and tell me your will not my will it is your will god not my will and i kept on saying that and i had lot of courage to face this problem because uh, they said see you are a mother and you are i've got five children and i don't know how you are balancing i said oh, god is helping me so when i went for the retreat on the third day uh, we had to do our confession and everything and then all are going rushing to the blessed sacrament i said what is this so i also went and that uh, one, one day in the afternoon at 12 o'clock i saw one man with a beard at the back and i called him a beggar you know and he's telling me do not be afraid i'm with you and i don't know the word of god that time so then uh, i went and uh, went in my room then uh, i was sitting quietly and i told my uh, retreatants who were there that like this happened to me and i saw I'm uh, so afraid with that long beard and all. So Father James called me and he said, "It's not, it's not a beggar man. It's Jesus who told you this." And I was so happy that when I finished the retreat, I didn't want to come home. I didn't want to come home. I said, "This world is a dirty world." And from that day onward, I started. I went for many retreats. I went for Yin healing. Everything, everywhere I had to go. and then this the bird of god and praising and worshiping god and attending all the retreats i've got so much of strength now so now teresa introduced me to this group she said you're very prayerful you come i said and i'm finding it very powerful and very good thank you jesus all so glory. i prayed god to glorify his name praise his name all to you my jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus thank you for all all the blessings that you are giving me yes. thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you hallelujah 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 thank you jesus for this wonderful testimony of bringing the fact that jesus christ is alive and he speaks to us and the holy spirit is there talking kitna bachaa baar baar mere bolne bolne thank you jesus yes who's next Uh, brother, thank yeah. you, Jesus, for blessing me wondrously with numerous blessings all these days. I just wanted to share a couple of days back. I've uh, shared my testimony of bringing the unseen into seen and getting the job which I had been praying for. But after receiving the contract. I started receiving numerous calls and interviews. Every day I used to get interview call even after receiving a job and I did not understand why this was happening to me. All the time I started saying, "Oh, I can't do this. I can't do this." 
One after the other, I started letting it down. In the end, I couldn't even take care of it. So I had to ring brother Vivek and ask why this is happening to me. Why was all this kept keeping quiet all this while? These were the jobs which I applied long time ago in January, February, and it's all coming together now. But God has already given me something and it's all happening. I was... I couldn't comprehend why this was kept late and I asked the Lord, why is this happening to me? Am I making a correct decision? Is it the good way I'm going with? But Brother Vivek said, you've already blessed with a job, then you must be telling them. This is how Jesus opens blessings upon you. He, I really saw the floodgates of blessings coming over me. Amen. I really saw that I was able to experience that even when people were giving testimonies about getting numerous jobs, I never thought I would be one of them experiencing it. But my Lord gave me that experience to me. He, I also claim Joel 2.32 and it shall come to pass and whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Thank you, Jesus. My Lord has delivered me with X amount of blessing. I'm not, whichever I have not even thought of or asked for. And I know that he will lead me. He will lead me and move me to the places where he wants me to move. And the Holy Spirit is really showering upon me. And sometimes I'm unable to even talk at this moment. I don't know the feeling which I'm getting. I'm really getting anointed. Oh, my Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for your mercy for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the Lord with the, and bless her. She's one of our powerful leaders who leads the rosary and she does a very wonderful job. And for all our people in different ministries that we have in our prayer group, uh, also for the rosary team and the people who do the divine mercy and the praying in tongues, Lord bless each and every one. And also bless the people who participate so that they bring the word of God. This is not just a theory class. This is where the power of God is revealed through the word. And this word that we speak every day is alive and active, just like in Hebrews 4.12. When you listen to the word, the word will start working in your life. It will not just sit quiet. It will start working. The moment you listen to the word that comes out from my mouth, it's God's word spoken. It's his word. And that word has power. Remember, there's change happening right now. Even if you're for the first time listening to the word, there's change in your life. Listen to my words again. There's change in your life. And just as Tissy has, has given this wonderful testimony, the floodgates of heaven will open up and you'll receive a blessing wondering what to do because your hands will not contain. And that's what says in Malachi chapter 3, verse 10, that I'll open the floodgates of heaven and pour a blessing that your hands will not contain. And this is how God loves us. He wants to give us everything. The main condition of receiving is being self-empty. You need to be empty and you need to stick to him because there is only one person who can take us through this life is Jesus. So let us focus on Jesus and God will bless you all the days of your life. Always remember he is first and everything else will follow. Thank you, Tissy. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful testimony. Thank you, Brother Vivek. Thank you, Brisbane Tracy. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Brother? Yeah. Yeah, Monica. Uh, I want to thank God for my sister's safe uh, operation. It's a very successful operation. And uh, she's out of uh, every danger. She's back home. I want to thank God. I want to praise him. For all, uh, she was in, she was, the doctor was actually, was in the, he had said that we can't, uh, I mean, it was a challenge in an operation itself. So he said, we will see how we can work it out. But he didn't uh, sign the papers, in fact. So it was, we were also very much tensed. And I spoke to Brother Vivek about it. We prayed together. And yes, uh, it worked. And I, she also wanted to thank you. She said, I want to thank. And I said, you have to join the group for that. Thank, thank you, you, brother. Thank you, and second, I want to thank the Lord that he's so much in uh, this pandemic. He's day and night, he's standing. I, and I've experienced that. Too. And I've seen that changes into my own family. 
my children i was i always grounded them into the word of god when from the babies now my children are 19 and uh, 15 years old and they are like um, from the very child babies today i i seen my daughter at night 3:30 she was sitting with the word of god i just came out to uh, you know for my washroom and i seen that she was sitting and reading the word of god i was so i feel i was blessed and the lord is so present into my home and i asked her you didn't go to sleep i said mom i want i wanted to first read the word of god and i wanted to uh, do my divine mercy chapter and she just 15 years old my son also i mean we always i put them into retreats and prayer and today they i don't have to go back of them to say anything yes i know they don't sit for hours in prayer but i see them that that positivity the prayerful they are obeying that comes through the wisdom of god and that is i'm blessed for that for i thank god that i'm blessed for my children and my in fact my husband also now he keeps on saying we will uh, start again a prayer sir it's a mere rosary prayer and we have to do it so i was always back of them but today all of them are waiting for the prayer that is the miracle what is happening into my home so this is the wonderful things which is happening and that all starts i mean yes we have to stand we have to uh, the, as a parents we need to really st- be strong we have to pull them a kids to be pulled up then only they will stand our prayers will work but we also have to make some efforts yes my family used to say are you gone mad keeping children in the small age you are putting them into this and that and they are going to i mean then how come they stand the society and all but i said no i don't i don't bother about the society i want to see my children standing in front of the lord Amen. that is the testimony i want to give to all of them i thank you lord and the biggest thing i wanted to say because i was staying on rent for so many i mean from 3 years and i thought i lost my house but my i found that in this 2 3 days my sisters are fighting that i should go back to my house and they are helping me out to go back that because i said one day that i know lord you will i don't know when but i will go back to my residence and today they are actually called me up and asking me how do we help you out how to go back and we will find a way and we'll push you back to your house that is none other than i said it is only the lord who is helping me and he is sending and they tell me that we didn't want it to and i don't know how we are lord is asking us i mean first time i found that their sisters are telling me my sisters they're saying i feel that somebody's back of us to say that help her that words came out from their mouth yes yes that Thank is you. the beautiful beauty of my lord thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus thank you lord thank you thank you jesus for this wonderful testimony that monica be used in her ministry to the ends of the earth to bring god's word to all the people in darkness thank you lord Yeah, we have time for few more testimonies. Let's quickly take testimonies. People who want to. Yes, testify. brother Vivek. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, brother Vivek. Yeah. Go ahead. I can hear you. Yes. Can I? Who is that? Jack from Kuwait, brother. Yeah, yeah, Jack. Go ahead. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to give a small testimony. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, see, I'll start with the scripture, John ten ten. Thieves comes to uh, comes to steal and kill, but Jesus come to give life in abundance. Yes. Last Wednesday, during my busiest time in the office, I got a call from the bank. It is a fraud call. I didn't notice that it is a fraud call, but it came. Uh, the logo was there of my bank and Quaid Bank, and they said to just they want to. update my card and ask for my the card number i it is my neg- negligence i get the card number then he said reverse the, on the reverse has a security number just give the security number that time it strikes to me holy spirit said wait 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 don't give i was about to give about to give then i said i asked him uh, see i cannot give the number then i asked my colleague colleague said it is it may be the fraud call then they they had taken my card number uh, and he start he he they enter some number and they wanted to withdraw my number the money 
but immediately i called the bank and i i i had uh, deleted a, the card i told them to just block the card praise god the nothing had happened i got a new card praise god for that god has saved my ass thank you lord thank you jesus you can hear me brother i can hear you yes brother why 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 i have to share i'm sharing this small this is a small testimony by negligence just but god was with me because i'm always saying i confess boldly every day brother every day i without fail thank you lord and share it with others jack bring it to others as well give it to everyone you know let the yes, word brother sure brother god this word, is the thing just give it to everyone yes brother let the holy yes, brother thank you speak to everybody thank you brother thank you lord thank you thank for you. thank you for thank this you. Thank thank you. <clears throat> is there anyone else who wants to give a quick testimony brother i want to say can i yeah yeah go ahead okay uh, this is not any uh, testimony based on any event but an understanding which uh, was held by uh, through, uh, which brother vivek told me i just asked him brother vivek i am not able to find any backup i am not able to find any backbone of mine who can help me who can always there with be with me uh, support me understand me what should i do so he told me that why don't you uh, make jesus as your backbone or backup and feel that uh, jesus is behind you in every aspect of your life and then you see whether you feel secured or not and uh, why don't you just uh, find lord as your backup instead of thinking of a human being uh your backup or your or your support or your you know in every way who can help you so that was such a big understanding that throughout our lives we seek something from someone uh when we want to seek help or love or support from human beings which is a great idea however if we are blessed it's great if you are not blessed or we are not able to manifest such kind of associations so uh, better understand that this uh, this jesus is there uh, who standing behind us and now whenever i am in any situation i visualize as if jesus is behind me he is standing behind me and he is keeping his hand on my shoulders and telling me i am your backup i am your backbone why do you need human beings for that and through him i will manifest such human beings or maybe support system which i am seeking for or maybe i become that maybe i become that support for myself one day in his guidance assistance in his love and this is a big understanding for me for the rest of my life now i have crossed already 40 and another maybe what how many years are left i don't know but i feel very very blessed and a lot of security comes in my mind and heart when i uh, recognize that truth and i'm thankful to uh, brother and i in my prayers i do lot of rosary so maybe that is also one of the reasons that uh, this understanding came to me but 45 minutes he took to make me understand this small thing and i'm very very thankful to him that's thank it you. thank you lord thank you jesus thank you thank you jesus for blessing shilpa and as she searches and seeks you she will find you because the lord has to be searched from all our heart and he is there let us not depend on humans that's why i said today's teaching is all about depending on the lord it's about him first everything second and everything will fall in love thank you jesus yeah one more person who would like to testify we got some 5 6 minutes more we can take two more questions brother ashley yeah. here yes go ahead can you hear me yeah ashley go ahead <clears throat> yeah um you know me uh This is the first time I've I've come to your group. I mean, I've been uh, told by my wife Sharon a long time to keep joining it, but for some reason I neglected it. So, um, I mean, I've been here. You know the story. So I've been here for six months now. Come down to see my mom in India, Bombay, and uh, things are very hectic here. So, 
even I just thought of that inner peace, which someone else also testi testified um, that um, I was carrying heavy burdens and stuff. So, and it's for some reason, it's just getting light. I just feel that peace just to love and forgive everyone and not have hatred and, and, um, and jealousy and anger. And it just, you're just feeling joyful, like, you know, just feeling the joy in my heart. So, um, and I just want to tell, I mean, you know, I've communicated with you many times, but people, you know, this is just for a testimony that I just want to let you know to, and if Sharon is hearing that I've forgiven her and have no grudge because I have not spoken to my kids for six months now. And what was happening between us? So just forgive and forget. So um, because I don't know if I can get out from here, there are no flights to come back to Australia, and and I'm I'm really scared and worried because I haven't spoken to my girls, I haven't spoken to my wife. So I just want them to know that uh, I mean we all what we are hearing is all Christ, Christ thing. So it is Christ, and we have to follow His words. So. We cannot keep hatred and uh, jealousy and anger. And one day we have to face the Lord on top. So we can't go on top as I told you, brother. I just want to go light on top. So I just want people to forgive me for whatever I've done and whatever I've done to them, I forgive them. So so this is just pray for me, all of you all. So I may be a better person and a more loving husband, a more caring father. So sometimes we don't know what we do in, in our lives, but coming to this prayer group is is humbling ourselves to you know and i thought i knew the scriptures well but i always told brother that you are you are, you are the best in this and little what i know i used to always tell him by the text but the more we know about the scripture even it's less so we can we can never be good in, in the sight of god we always always uh, have some drawbacks so yes so if sharon is listening to this i'm sorry for anything said and done and we can start over all over again. So ask God to forgive me. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks, brother. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hello, brother. Yeah, Janet. Good. I just want to thank God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, for giving me the strength to see the people's problem and uh, pray for them. Sometimes I'm praying um, Holy Spirit as a partner for their needs. And then I feel uh, in my heart that great comfort. And also I believe that uh, for the people that I prayed for alcoholism, and for the people that I prayed for jobless, and also the people who are uh, in faith and called Christian for years and much older than I, yet I, when I prayed that they were praising God and saying that, uh, what a powerful prayer that you prayed. So I use my prayer as a message, giving them message and hope and faith. And also I tell them that, uh, that they themselves can pray for them. And then it's a great privilege that I got this confidence. And I wanted to thank Holy Spirit thank and you. for every breath that I take. Amen. Thank you, Janet. And, and God bless you because at this earthly hour, uh, you know, this sister is actually live from New York. It's around 2 o'clock there, isn't it? What's the time there? Yeah. Uh, now, it's, now it's 5. Yeah. But the, in our time, it starts at 2.30. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. So it's early morning there. But yeah, God bless her because she has been um, part of this prayer group and keeps awake even at this earthly hour. Thank you, Jesus, for her ministry. And whatever prayers she has made so far have been answered prayers. We pray together. It's such powerful anointing when we pray together. God, give, and give her a double portion of the Holy Spirit and the anointing. Thank you, sister. Amen. Thank you for praying for the whole Brisbane prayer group. And all of us, let's remember we are one family in Christ. Praying for Amen. each other. 
because Jesus Christ is the Lord Savior of our life. There's nothing that we have. So it's not by might or power, but by thy spirit, says the Lord God of hosts. So yeah, thank you, Jesus. 